The defence for four of the accused in the Senzo Miyua murder trial have written to police requesting further particulars of charges. Advocate Tefo Malisela has uh, indicated in documents that the former Bafana Bafana captain's girlfriend, Kelly Kumalo, should have been arrested alongside the five accused in the matter. He says an affidavit deposed by the lead investigating officer in the first docu do docket cited Kumalo as allegedly having planned the murder. Advocate Tefo has also asked police for clarity regarding why an alleged warrant for Kumalo's arrest was not executed and joins us now live on uh, Full View. Uh, Advocate uh, Tefo, good evening to you and welcome. Let's begin with the contents of the letter uh, that we understand you've written to police. What exactly are you asking from the police? Yes, my God, good evening. Um, we are re requesting that uh, there should be given, we should be given further particulars in this matter. Uh, we just recently got the document that we were not having all along. Uh, we got it on the last appearance at the High Court in Victoria. This is the affidavit of the leading investigating officer in the case number 636, which is the third target. So we find that <coughs> there was a... Kelekumalo was, uh, uh, according to this affidavit, considered to be the one who planned the murder of Senator Robert Mayua with the uh, uh, five of uh, the accused who are before the court now in the uh, High Court. But we were surprised by the fact that Kilikumalo was not arrested. And the charges that were preferred against Kilikumalo on the warrant of uh, arrest will be conspiracy to commit murder and the murder of uh, Senator Robert Mayua. So we need uh, the police to explain us this discrimination, why the alleged foot soldiers are in, 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 in jail and the mastermind is not uh, in jail. Furthermore, according to the police uh, affidavit, uh, this is a contractual assassination. So there is a, meaning that there is a document or there is a, an agreement or contract that Kilikumalo signed with uh, uh, five accused. So we need that document, we don't have it, so that we can have a, a proper defense of our clients. Yeah, uh, uh, Advocate, Advocate Tefo, I mean, I'll get to the process um, that should be attached to all of this, but I just want to go on to one issue um, that I believe you mentioned. This claim that you say of a warrant of arrest for Kelly Kumalo that was not executed, um, you know, what, what is your authority for, for asking that question from the police? What are you basing that on? You know, uh, uh, I'm just as you know that uh, man, there is a, there are two dockets. So this one is in relation to the first docket, which is before the court. So now we're saying that it cannot be that uh, our client, whom we consider them to be innocent, not even involved in this matter, but now they've been alleged of uh, uh, a murder of Senator Robert Mayua for which we are saying they are not involved. They were not even anywhere next to that house on that date. But now, here, yeah, in the hindsight, in that docket, in terms of the theory of that docket, that there were two people who entered the house. But now yeah, <coughs> we see the document that says, Kelukumalo should have been a, is a mastermind, should have been arrested, but she's not arrested. That's what we need to know. And then if what you are requesting it's not done as we have given the SATS until uh, the changes, uh, before the close of business on the changes. If that was not, it's not done, we know how to exercise the rights of our client. Have you heard back from the police? When was this letter sent and, and have you had any response so far? We don't have a response so far, like I said. We give them until... Uh, until uh, the close of business on the 20th, which is Monday. All right. I think we we'll leave it... Was sent, the letter was sent today, actually. All right. So you sent this letter today, and you've given, as you say, police an ultimatum by the 20th uh, to respond. What happens if they do not, Advocate Tefo? As we indicated to them that we will now be forced to exercise the constitutional right of our clients, meaning that we will bring the agent application at any time to court so that we can get 
That is the remedy that we have now against uh, the, the state. You know, uh, as we observe this case, as a final question, Advocate Tefo, uh, you know, when the second docket, for example, uh, was received, there was some dispute about the timing of that. Um, it's been mired by a number of sort of, you know, trial within a trial controversies. Um, what are your concerns overall about the pursuit of justice in this, in this matter? Yeah, yeah, referring to the first docket as well. I'm talking about overall, as we see these developments. Oh, okay. Yes. No, overall, among the, among the, in the contents of the affidavit, uh, this meeting in this group is uh, um, considered to the fact that she say, uh, he's saying Kinukumale, yes, is uh, connected or is linked not only by the uh, allegation of the contract, but also by the confessions of her case number one and two. So now, He's admitting that there are confessions, but unfortunately, when we wanted the, the confession to be dealt with at court, the court refused us. They said, no, let's wait to uh, the time of the state. When the state say they are ready to deal with a uh, confession, which will lead uh, to the trial within the trial, is then the court will also uh, accede to that issue of the confessions, for which we find it very much unfair insofar as the rights of our clients are concerned, because it could not have been that we studied the main trial well, we should have started with a, a, a confession for which they were obtained in terms of the violation of uh, Section 35 and Section 5 of the Constitution, that evidence that was obtained in the violation of anybody's rights should not be accepted because it will render the trial unfair. All right. Advocate Manisela Tefo, thank you very much um, for that update. Of course, these remain allegations that will be tested inside court. Some questions uh, that Advocate Tefo is asking of the SAPS insofar as um, this claim that's being made about a warrant of arrest for Kelly Kumal. And you heard the action they will take there. If come Monday, there has been no response from the SAPS.